Sharon Pager, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky today calling Russia's missile strike in the central square in its second largest city a war crime, accusing Russia of targeting civilians. According to the UN, 136 innocent people have been killed as fighting in some key areas intensifies. Russia appearing to target civilian areas of Ukraine with more and more powerful weapons. According to Ukrainian officials in the capital, Kyiv, at least five were killed in Russian strikes near a TV tower, which also hit a Holocaust memorial. Emergency crews here responding. A Russian missile appearing to strike at regional government headquarters in Kharkiv. At least seven killed in the second largest city. Some of the damage documented shows areas devastated. And new images of Ukrainians resisting. <laughs> Civilians in one southern town seen literally pushing back against Russian military vehicles, even lying on the ground to block their path. Yes! Yes! And new video from day one of the war purports to show a Russian helicopter being shot down near Kyiv. While on the world stage, today, a tale of two leaders. After Ukraine's president makes an emotional appeal to the European Parliament, urging the EU to stand by his country, a standing ovation. While during a video statement from Russia's foreign minister, Sergei Lavrov, during a United Nations meeting, scores of diplomats walking out in protest of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. And Zelensky from a secret location in the center of his nation's capital, telling CNN with rockets still falling, peace talks with Russia have little hope. And I want it. I, I really want it. And I ask them. So you have to speak. First of all, you everybody has to stop, stop fighting. So, Lauren, how is Russia defending itself for attacking civilian targets? Well, before the attack we told you about in Kyiv today of the TV tower, the Russian military reportedly said it would carry out strikes against facilities there, warning civilians living in the areas to leave. And Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov today insisting that the Russian troops don't conduct any strikes against civilian infrastructure or residential areas. But those claims contradict abundant evidence documented by news organizations on the ground. They're finding indiscriminate shelling of homes, schools, and hospitals across Ukraine. For now, that's the latest live in the newsroom. I'll send it back to you. All right, Lauren Lister, thank you.